When news of the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson bout broke, many shared the sentiment that it was laughable. A clash between someone twice your senior seemed absurd. However, as relentless verbal jabs were exchanged, even breaching boundaries, the tone shifted drastically. What was once dismissed as a joke has morphed into a serious showdown. We're familiar with Mike's prowess for speaking through his fists in the ring, but this time, Jake's antics pushed the limits. After a fiery press conference, the boxing community was left in shock. Jake, once hailed as a rising star in the sport, now finds himself bruised and defeated, a casualty of his own recklessness. It began with cutting words, spewed in a fit of rage. Jake, consumed by anger, crossed a boundary he could never retract. He insulted Mike's family, reopening old wounds and tarnishing the memory of Cus D'Amato, Mike's revered mentor. However, it was when Jake stooped to mock Mike's deceased child that he traversed a line too far, one that should never have been crossed. In a burst of anger, Mike unleashed his wrath upon Jake, his fists descending with relentless force. Security rushed to intervene, but the damage was already done. Jake's past is fraught with controversy, known for employing sneaky tactics to avoid fights, resorting to insults and provocations to lure his opponents into confrontation. Attempting to defuse the situation, Jake Paul tried to lighten the mood with a comedic skit, joking that his fury stemmed from Mike Tyson, mistaking him for his brother, Logan Paul, during their first encounter. As he boasted about taking on Tyson, Jake quickly retracted his statement, realizing the folly of challenging a legend like Tyson. Examining Jake Paul's journey from his debut as a boxer, it's crucial to acknowledge the pivotal role Mike Tyson played in providing him with his initial opportunity to step into the ring, featuring on Tyson's undercard against Roy Wood Jr. This moment remains etched in Paul's memory, emphasizing the significance of Tyson's influence. However, entertaining the notion that Paul harbors intentions of aggressively confronting Tyson seems implausible. Tyson himself has previously asserted his ability to swiftly dispatch Paul, a claim difficult to dismiss given his legendary status as one of the most formidable heavyweights in boxing history. During this confrontation, Jake unleashed a barrage of insults towards Mike, not only criticizing his abilities, but also delving into his personal affairs. With each cutting remark, Jake found himself sinking deeper into a self-created abyss. In the aftermath of their clash, there's widespread speculation regarding the fate of the eagerly anticipated bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, with tensions reaching a boiling point. Mike Tyson's fury is unmistakable, his rage burning hotter than ever before. In a stunning twist, Tyson made a chilling declaration of his intent to harm Jake Paul, casting a shadow of danger over the YouTuber. Despite the looming specter of potential threats to the continuity of his fight, Mike Tyson stands resolute, his determination amplified by the fire of his rage. With every fiber of his being, he channels this energy into his preparation, driving himself to the very edge in training sessions that border on the extreme. Tyson's commitment to his art remains steadfast, his focus honed to a razor's edge as he tirelessly refines his skills in anticipation of the imminent showdown. In a dramatic twist, Mike Tyson is making a bold move that has sent shockwaves through the world of boxing. The legendary Iron Mike has stunned fans globally with a bombshell announcement. He's bidding farewell to his cherished podcast, Hot Boxing. This decision comes as Tyson fully commits himself to the monumental challenge of facing Jake Paul in the ring. Stepping away from hot boxing, Tyson is now laser focused on preparing for what is poised to be one of the most eagerly anticipated fights in recent history. As he devotes his attention to training for this upcoming showdown, Tyson leaves behind a legacy of frank discussions and unforgettable moments on hot boxing. Iron Mike stands poised his readiness palpable, exuding a ferocity unmistakable in the aftermath of the clash. The impending fight teeters on a knife's edge, its fate uncertain. Will the storm of controversy douse the flames of anticipation, or will it only stoke them higher? One fact remains unwavering. Murmurs of cancellation fail to breach the impenetrable focus enveloping Mike Tyson. 
Let them chatter. The bout is set. Jake Paul has overstepped, showing disrespect to the sport and its ethos. A reckoning looms, and he shall surely face its consequences. The press conference erupts into chaos, a symphony of flashing lights and clamoring voices as microphones are thrust towards Tyson, each journalist clamoring for a reaction, a headline. But Iron Mike meets them with a steely gaze, a cold determination replacing his usual jovial demeanor. This is no longer a spectacle. It's a battle fueled by primal instincts. With each deliberate step, Tyson seems to command the shrinking room, the once festive atmosphere now replaced by an aura of intense focus and power. Even the most seasoned boxing reporters squirm under his unwavering stare. Tyson asserts, they say I was angry that I spoke of killing in the heat of the moment. Perhaps I did, but understand that word barely scratches the surface of what I feel now. This verbal duel carries legal repercussions, marking the escalation of a conflict beyond mere words. Iron Mike Tyson is once again caught in the throes of a legal dispute, confronted with a monumental $300 million lawsuit from Jake Paul. Beyond the realm of mere finances, Tyson asserts that this matter delves into principles. He contends that Tyson's actions crossed a line when he purportedly threatened his life. This lawsuit, Tyson emphasizes, serves as a statement against the tolerance of violence within the sport of boxing. Sources indicate that Jake Paul has initiated legal proceedings against the renowned boxer, citing alleged aggressive behavior during their confrontation. Paul argues that Tyson's behavior was unjustified and insists on compensation for the harm caused. Tyson sees this person as an easy target, attempting to exploit the situation for financial gain. Contrary to expectations, Tyson retaliated by accusing Jake Paul of deceit and suggesting that the internet personality exaggerated his injuries. Tyson's strong denial of any fault has intensified the controversy surrounding the upcoming fight. From his hospital bed, Jake Paul, devoid of apparent injuries, theatrically displays an x-ray portraying a pristine shoulder, insinuating fabricated injuries. Look at this, he exclaims, implicating Iron Mike's wrath. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson rebuts, condemning Paul's actions. This kid has gone too far. I had to respond. With accusations volleyed and legal battles looming, the fate of their much-anticipated bout teeters on uncertainty. Yet amidst setbacks, a faint hope persists for fans eagerly awaiting the showdown. With anticipation at its peak and passions ablaze, the world eagerly awaits the potential showdown between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Amidst the tumult, one thing remains certain. Tyson's resolute determination and unwavering pursuit of victory ensure that this battle will proceed, regardless of the challenges. The atmosphere crackles with tension as Tyson sheds his former jovial demeanor, his eyes now reflecting a steely resolve. The recent confrontation with Jake Paul has sparked a fire within Tyson, and he shows no signs of restraint. This is no longer just about a boxing match. It's a crusade against what Tyson perceives as a festering sore within the realm of entertainment. In the realm of celebrity crypto scams, there's a notable figure, Tyson a seasoned scammer whose voice rumbles with a low, menacing tone. While he may have gained fame in boxing, his true expertise lies in duping people with fraudulent cryptocurrency schemes. Tyson isn't the only one under scrutiny. Jake Paul, known for his YouTube following, has also raised suspicions with his involvement in promoting various cryptocurrencies and NFTs. Accusations of employing pump-and-dump tactics abound, implying that Paul and his cohorts artificially inflate the value of these digital assets before cashing out, leaving unsuspecting investors in the lurch. Tyson preys on the dreams of young, naive individuals who believe they can strike it rich quickly. With a shake of his head, Tyson expresses disbelief at the flashy displays of wealth, all funded by these deceptive crypto ventures, knowing full well that they're destined to collapse, leaving devastation in their wake. Reports have emerged from discontented fans alleging significant financial losses after heeding Jake Paul's investment counsel. The legality of these claims remains uncertain, yet the aura of controversy envelops Paul's cryptocurrency ventures. Nowadays, internet celebrities peddle dubious schemes, exploiting their followers for a quick profit. This bout transcends mere settling of scores. 
it's a statement against deceit in both the ring and life. Whispers of investigations and potential lawsuits shadow Jake Paul like a looming storm. Regulatory bodies scrutinize his crypto promotions, and the once carefree influencer facade begins to crack under mounting pressure. The unveiling of truth is imminent. However, in this tumultuous brawl, it's not fists that will fall, but rather the crumbling facade of his crypto scheme empire. Accusations volley back and forth, stoking the flames of anticipation for the impending showdown. Whether Tyson's allegations hold water remains to be seen beyond the confines of the ring. Yet one fact remains indisputable. The verbal warfare has intensified, injecting an extra layer of intensity into this already explosive clash. This battle isn't just about legacy or respect, it's a struggle that impacts the financial stability of countless fans ensnared in the chaos of the celebrity crypto frenzy. On the other hand, Jake Paul faces a stern warning from Teddy Atlas, the former trainer of Mike Tyson, as he gears up to confront the boxing legend. Paul openly acknowledges Tyson's formidable power, describing the prospect of facing him as his worst nightmare. During a recent exchange with Ryan Garcia, Paul expressed his astonishment at Tyson's strength, admitting he had never encountered such force before. In the realm of entertainment, an astute observer analyzed the contrasting fighting techniques of the two boxers and concluded that Jake Paul may find himself outmatched against the seasoned 57-year-old boxing legend. Consequently, experts continue to forecast a challenging bout for Jake Paul against the formidable Iron Mike. However, the true extent of the challenge awaiting the young boxer remains to be seen. The impending bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson has sparked widespread controversy, largely due to the glaring mismatch perceived by many. Critics have lambasted Paul for agreeing to face someone nearly three decades his senior, particularly targeting the former four-time world boxing champion and Hall of Famer Mike Tyson. Carl Frock, renowned for his straightforward opinions, recently weighed in on the matter with blunt criticism. Frosch expressed incredulity and apprehension regarding the matchup, questioning the rationale behind Paul's decision to step into the ring with Tyson, who is nearing 60 and has long retired from professional boxing. Describing the fight as a clear mismatch, Frosch pondered the motivations driving Paul to challenge an older, retired boxer. He underscored Tyson's age-related health concerns, such as back problems, and even pointed out instances where Tyson has been seen using a walking stick, highlighting the stark physical contrast between the two fighters. Frock leveled allegations against Paul, branding him as a bully, and cast doubt on the integrity of the bout, insinuating that it casts a shadow over the noble sport of boxing. Despite Tyson's iconic reputation and enduring prowess as a fighter, Frog remains dubious about Tyson's capacity to compete at his age against a considerably younger adversary. He bemoaned the potential outcomes of the match, suggesting that if Paul emerges victorious, he merely defeats an aging man, and if he loses, it's a defeat against an elderly opponent, questioning the merit of either scenario. Frog also recounted his own interaction with Paul revealing that Paul had previously challenged him but failed to follow through. Frog emphasized his eagerness to face Paul, highlighting his willingness to do so out of passion rather than financial gain, underscoring his disapproval of Paul's boxing approach. Additionally, Frog voiced apprehensions regarding the trajectory of professional boxing, emphasizing the disparity between boxing and UFC in their strategies for arranging bouts that resonate with fans. He commended the UFC's matchmaking ethos, wherein top-tier fighters are pitted against one another, proposing that boxing could benefit from adopting a similar model. Despite Karl Frock and numerous other pundits deeming a particular fight as lopsided, there are dissenting voices within the community. Teddy Atlas, the esteemed former trainer of boxing icon Mike Tyson, has recently shared his official forecast for the forthcoming match. Atlas has expressed deep concern for Jake Paul's well-being in a comprehensive analysis posted on his YouTube platform, delving into the intricacies of the bout scheduled for July 20th, 2024, at the A&T Stadium in Texas. Atlas emphasized Paul's transition from a popular YouTube personality to a professional pugilist. Acknowledging Paul's commitment to the sport, 
Atlas highlighted the considerable leap in a competition that Paul faces in confronting Tyson, a legendary figure known for his formidable punching prowess and lightning speed. Although Tyson's age was noted by Atlas, he emphasized that a fighter's power tends to persist. This underscores the inherent peril Paul confronts by entering the ring with such a formidable opponent. Atlas speculated on the potential outcomes of the match, indicating that Tyson stands to lose less. A victory would enhance his legacy, while a defeat might be viewed as a commendable effort in the twilight of his career. However, for Paul, the stakes are considerably higher. A loss could significantly damage his boxing credibility, whereas a victory against an older Tyson may not garner the respect he desires within the sport. Delving deep into the psychological and strategic dimensions of the impending bout, Atlas probed into Paul's rationale for challenging Tyson. He mused over whether Paul's decision stemmed from a carefully calculated gamble, fueled by an excess of confidence in Tyson's waning prowess, or rather, a miscalculation of the threat Tyson's formidable power still presented. Drawing parallels with boxing legends such as Sonny Liston and Roberto Duran, Atlas underscored Tyson's uncanny ability to instill fear in his adversaries. He contemplated the potential effects of such intimidation tactics on Paul's mindset as he prepared to step into the ring. Atlas's examination delivers a comprehensive insight into the impending clash of dynamics, honing in on the considerable gamble Jake Paul undertakes in challenging Mike Tyson. By accentuating Tyson's enduring strength and the psychological warfare synonymous with boxing, Atlas crafts a vivid depiction of a high-stakes confrontation. As the fight's date looms, the boxing world observes with bated breath, foreseeing one of the most captivating showdowns in recent memory with potential ramifications for both fighters' legacies. Another pundit echoing Teddy Atlas's sentiments is Chael Sonnen, Sonnen is adamant that Jake Paul's chances of triumphing in this bout against Iron Mike are slim to none. As Iron Mike prepares for his boxing resurgence, Sonnen firmly places him as the frontrunner. He argues that Paul's lack of experience compared to Tyson gives the latter a decisive edge. Sonnen also casts doubt on the fight's integrity, drawing from Tyson's past dealings and decisions. He suggests that Tyson's motivations extend beyond mere financial gain, hinting at deeper complexities. Sonnen further muses on the peculiar nature of the matchup, highlighting its departure from the conventional motives seen in professional boxing or sports at large. Sonnen sheds light on the psychological dimension of promotion and the evolving reception of the fight, highlighting the shift in public interest over time. He commends the promoters for their grasp of market psychology, which plays a pivotal role in heightening the fight's allure. As training footage of Tyson surfaces and improves, Sonnen speculates that this could further alter perceptions. Additionally, he expresses a keen interest in personally sparring with both Tyson and Paul, driven by a desire to offer an informed insider perspective on the fighter's states and preparations. Furthermore, Sonnen disrupts conventional beliefs about fighting, particularly the idea that a fighter's power is the final skill to fade. He posits that Tyson's sustained footwork and technique, discernible even in short video clips, challenge such notions, revealing a nuanced understanding of Tyson's current capabilities. In a recent exchange with Ryan Garcia, Paul candidly acknowledged the formidable challenge of facing Iron Mike. Garcia, expressing his apprehension, emphasized Tyson's unique prowess, citing his unmatched physical strength and imposing aura. Although Garcia acknowledged Paul's resilient mindset, he couldn't shake off his concern. He highlighted Tyson's enduring strength and the profound impact of his firm handshake, which left a lasting impression on Garcia. As they delved deeper into their training routines, Garcia questioned Paul's ability to stay focused amid numerous distractions. However, Paul reassured him by offering to share footage of his training and sparring sessions. They exchanged views on the controversial methods of athlete preparation before fights, both revealing their unconventional approaches and past experiences. As the conversation grew more serious, Garcia asked for Paul's thoughts on his upcoming fight with Devin Haney, to which Paul responded with unwavering faith in a higher plan. 
The dialogue concluded with Garcia emphasizing his deep respect for Paul's bold decision to take on Tyson, underscoring the blend of apprehension and reverence accompanying such a formidable boxing venture. Showbiz, an influential figure in the boxing scene, recently dissected the fighting styles of both competitors, asserting Iron Mike's dominance in the impending match. With a playful tone, Showbiz jokingly hinted that Jake Paul might want to reconsider his participation, given Tyson's formidable display in his training footage. In the realm of entertainment, Showbiz, the seasoned commentator, keenly observes the training footage featuring Tyson, the renowned boxing legend. This glimpse into Tyson's power and technique ignites fervent anticipation for his upcoming bout. Showbiz urges viewers to momentarily set aside Tyson's age and focus solely on the prowess and condition of the fighters. He contends that evaluating the matchup without the constraint of age would present Tyson as a formidable opponent for Jake Paul. Overall, insights from figures such as Teddy Atlas, Chael Sonnen, and Showbiz all concur on the anticipated triumph of Iron Mike Tyson. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.